Imagine this, your NADN workflows are scraping website, your voice agents are talking to leads all day, and all that data ends up in a Google Sheet or a CRM. Rows, columns, numbers, useful but not very intuitive. What if you could actually talk to that data instead? What if you could say, show me last week's performance or top objections from prospects and instantly get a beautiful interactive dashboard that explains everything at a glance? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to build an AI agent inside NADN connected to thesis.dev, which is a generative UI layer that turns your agent's responses into interactive components like charts, cards, tables, dashboards, slides, or reports with zero front-end work. I'll walk you through the setup step-by-step -step using a real data set from an NADN workflow, voice agent performance, lead data, call stats, all of it. By the end of this video, you won't just have numbers in a spreadsheet, you'll have a live visual cockpit for your NADN automations that actually help you make decisions. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with a quick demo and then I'm gonna show you how to build this thing step-by-step. -by, -step. by the way, if you just want this JSON file, just comment AI agent and I'm gonna send you a link to where you can just download or import this AI agent into your workflow. But again, I'm gonna show you everything step-by-step. -step. So for the demo, um, this is the data file that I have. This is the Google Sheet from a voice AI agent. So this is what's being connected or this Google Sheet is basically responding to that. So as you can see right here, this is thesis.dev, which again, I'm gonna explain and show you exactly how to connect to this. But I asked it, compare last week's call volume with the previous two weeks. So this is the chart that it showed up. This really beautiful charts and these visuals uh, that you can interact with. And it also provides in the bottom, provide your metrics name daily, like the next steps if you want to do something different. But again, all of this, as you can see, it shows I have uh, 4,200 uh, appointments and calls was 4,800. All of this is coming in from our uh, Google sheet here. So that's what I was talking about as far as making sense of the data, right? This is a lot easier to absorb compared to like, uh, you know, just looking at raw numbers. And that's why you can just kind of hover over each section and, you know, we can change how the look and feel is. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But essentially the way that this works is it takes the data, your live data that's sitting on your CRM, and it presents this in, in this really nice interactive user interface, which again, uh, if you guys are like me, I hate looking at numbers and uh, and data tables like this. It's just a lot easier for me to take a look at it visually and then uh, whether it's through charts or lines and everything else. So that's exactly what we're going to build. All right, so now let's go ahead and get this started and do this step by step. Okay, so this is my blank NADN workflow. We're gonna start building the AI agent and connect it to the front end with thesis, but the first step is creating a so for those of you who are new to NADN, you can go ahead and sign up for a free account. Link is going to be in the description. Once you bring in, once you create your account, you can create a workflow and this is what it's going to look like. Every NADN uh, workflow starts with the trigger. In our case, we're just going to add our AI agent with a chat trigger because we're going to be interacting with this with the TSS front end. So let's go ahead and click on add first step. I'm just going to look for AI agent. And as soon as I click on AI agent, this is going to bring in my AI agent automatically with that chat trigger, right? So let me zoom in a little bit. Now, the first thing we need to do is add a chat model and I'm going to click on the plus button. Make sure you are grabbing open AI. So I'm going to click on open AI. And as far as the credentials, so what we need to do is we need to click on new credentials because we need to add our API key from our TSS front end. So this is usually where you would put your API key from your open AI. But this time what I'm going to do is head over to uh, thesis.dev. So again, if you're new to thesis, I'm going to put the link in the description. You can click on it. It's going to bring you right here. And this is our front end or this is our interactive UI builder. So the C1 by thesis, it's an API middleware. But essentially, it also has a playground as well. So feel free to check it out. Like uh, they have really cool demos here that kind of compares how AI apps without C1 kind of looks like bland and just, uh, you know, these texts, but with uh, C1, as you can see on the right hand side, uh, it gives you all the visuals and uh, the color scheme. Everything is really beautiful. So make sure you check out the demos that they have and you can click on try uh, playground and it's going to open up uh, the C1 here. You can click on new playground or if you want to look at the existing uh, sample playgrounds, you can check that out. But we're going to be interacting directly via the API to connect our NADN. So once you come here, 
you're going to head over and click on your account. You can create an account. They give you a free account. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. So afterwards, once you log in here, uh, you're going to come on the left-hand side, click on API keys. And here you're going to click on new API key. Okay. So here I'm just going to name it. So I'm just going to do NA then test. And I'm going to click on generate API key. This is going to generate your API key. You're going to copy this API key. You're going to come back to your N8N, and now you're going to add this to your uh, or paste this in the API key section. Don't worry about the organization. One important thing is make sure you're changing the base URL. Right now, the base URL says api.openai.com slash v1. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of this and add HTTP as colon slash slash api.thesis.dev slash v1 slash embed. Okay, so make sure you type the base URL there and you're going to click on save. Once you click on save, this is going to make the connection. It's going to say connection successful. Let's go ahead and change the name here too, so that we don't get confused here. I'm just going to say thesis.dev. There you go. Or you can, you know, uh, add whatever you want up to you. Okay. So just save that. And now we have our APIs connected. Okay. So now if you click on from the list, now all of the models that are available on thesis is going to show up here and see, you can see right here, the names it says C1 EXP OpenAI. So what we're going to do is select the GPT-5 in the bottom here, the latest one. So now we are good to go here. Make sure you turn off this use response mode API so that way things are flexible. That's all you need to do. So now you can get out of that. Uh, make sure you add a memory. We're just going to click on the plus button here. We're going to click on simple memory so that way uh, your agent in the when you're interacting with things, it, rem it remembers the past uh, interactions there. Okay. So afterwards, what we need to do is we need to add uh, on the tool. We need to click on the tool here and we're going to add our Google Sheet because again, all of this data that you see right here, this is all sitting on my Google Sheet. So whatever CRM you have, let's say you have, you know, Airtable or whatever it is, make sure you add that in the tool. Since I have mine on Google Sheet, I'm going to click on the plus button here. And then I'm going to search for Google Sheet. There you go. That's the first one that shows up. Perfect. All right. So here, the way to add, if you don't have a credentials for a Google Sheet, it's very simple. You're going to click on that. You're literally going to click on sign in with Google. And this is going to pop up. It's going to say allow NADN to access your Google account. Just allow all of the um, all of the permissions and you're good to go. Since I already have a bunch of accounts, I'm just going to leave it as it is. All right. So set automatically tool description. That's totally fine. Resource going to be sheet within a document. Operation is going to be get rows. And then from here, from the document here, make sure you're selecting whatever the name of your CRM is. Mine is called AI phone agent data. So make sure, um, as you can see on my CRM here or my Google Sheet says AI phone data. So make sure you're selecting whatever document you have there. And then afterwards, just choose the sheet. So since I didn't name my sheet, I just said sheet one. Okay, so that's all we need. Now we're done with the Google Sheet here. So we are, um, as far as tools, that's the only thing we need to add. Now, another important thing is you want to click on the chat message here. So you want to double click on this and click on make chat publicly available. And this is going to basically give you this URL. But before we do anything there, click on the properties as you see in the bottom, it says um, add field. You want to make sure that you scroll to the bottom and select response mode. And then from here, you want to select streaming. Again, the reason why we're allowing or selecting this is so that way the information can flow back and forth between our front end and thesis and here without any issues. So we're going to enable that. And then afterwards, you're also going to go inside your AI agent. You're also going to click on add option and you're going to say allow uh, enable streaming. So that way, again, all of the information goes back and forth without any issues. So that's pretty much it as far as what you need to do uh, on the settings. Now what we need to do is go inside your chat message and now we need to copy uh, this chat URL. Okay, I'm going to click on copy here. So once you copy your URL there, one another important thing is make sure you click on publish. So if you are on version two of NA, then you have to click on publish. If you are the previous version, you're just going to activate your workflow. So here, since I'm on version two, I'm just going to do version one of this particular workflow uh, and describe changes unless this is multiple versions, then don't worry, that's just optional. So I'm going to click on publish. And now this is this workflow is live, right? So now we're good to go to basically interact with this. So now what we need to do is we need to head over to thesis.dev slash NADN. So I'm going to go to thesis.dev slash N8N. As soon as you do that, this is going to bring into bring you to this particular page right here. So now you need to click and it says try it now right here. This is where we need to enter our chat URL that we just copied, right? So I'm just going to click here 
and paste the same exact URL. So if I click on continue, now this is going to open up this box where now I have this user interface that I can chat with or directly to our NA10 AI agent there. Okay, so before now interact with this, I'm going to go back to, to my NA10. I'm going to click on execution so that way you can see exactly that this is going to be um, activated here. As you can see on the left hand side right now, it says no execution found. So now if I go to the front end there, right? So if I go to my thesis here, now what I'm going to type is, so I just said something like which metrics improved the most over the last three weeks. So this is based on the the data that I have, you can ask it whatever you want, depending on what data you have, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and press enter. And now this is going to reach out to my NA10 AI agent, which then is going to grab all of that information. And now I'm going to be able to see this uh, in this really beautiful user interface, right? So I'm going to go ahead back and you can see that this should automatically send that data here. There you go. Perfect. As you can see, it says running right now, which means that our AI agent is being activated and it said succeeded. So now you see that the AI agent will show up here. And on the front end, this is where now I can see these beautiful user interface that gives me data that actually makes sense. I can actually take a look at this. It makes sense for me to uh, see this beautiful summary with the charts and trend overview, right? So this is kind of the beauty of this platform that it gives you access it shows you exactly the changes here like you can see the number of calls the sentiment score the appointment book direction uh, detection accuracy by the way these are coming directly from my na then or from my crm here you see detection accuracy appointments book sentiment score resolution rate es escalations so that's why like i said you want to uh, make sure that you see these columns that are matching and that's how you know that it's interacting directly with your data and it's showing the trend over you here in this nice little uh, chart that you can see how many resolution what was the resolution rate for week one uh, the detection accuracy week two week three so all of this uh, data that's beautifully presented to me that I can interact with rather than looking at you know boring columns and rows so that's kind of the beauty of it so let's go to our NA then here so that way we can see our execution here so let me click on this now it's loading there you go, right? So it looks like our AI agent got activated and it reached out to our uh, Google Sheet here and then it grabbed all of that data and it presented to me in the front end in this really nice user interface. All right, let's go ahead and ask it something else. So this time I'm going to say show the detection accuracy over time. So if I press this now, the same thing, it should reach out to my NA10 AI agent to grab all of the data that we need and it will map out the detection accuracy over time in this beautiful line chart. There you go. Perfect, right? I mean, honestly, this is a lot nicer uh, compared to just looking at numbers and stuff. So, so it says value, uh, values are daily average across agents. Weekend dips, right? That gives you the weekend dips. It says suggest lower volume and variability. So this is what it shows. And if you can just hover, if you hover over it, it'll show you exactly all of the data here. Very well presented. Again, all of this information available on the, all the resources are available in the link below. So I'm going to put the resources so that way you can have access to it. And of course, if you have any other questions, I'll try to get to all of them. If you just put them in the comment, I'll get to them as soon as I can. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.